Hello, thanks for joining us today for this update on Oracle's generative AI strategy. I'm Greg Pavlik, Senior Vice President responsible for Oracle's AI services. We've had some exciting announcements recently. Today, I will talk about what we've been working on and how these updates tie into our generative AI strategy as a whole. Before we dive in, a quick housekeeping note. Make sure to use the comments feature to ask any questions you may have throughout our conversation. We'll do our best to respond back to as many of you as possible. Let's get started. Generative AI. It's showing the amazing ability for machines to take on work that previously required human capital and investment to create and to refine. The challenge is that so many of the examples we see around us are made for individual consumers using internet services. For businesses, successful generative AI needs to focus on solving real-world enterprise use cases. So Oracle has been focused on building practical AI that helps customers solve their actual business problems. Let's take a look at a few examples of how this has been done. Attracting top talent in a highly competitive industry is expensive and often difficult to find the best fit for a position. But generative AI can vastly improve the talent acquisition process. It can help attract the best candidates by automating the creation of engaging job postings that distinctly convey the position's requirements and success criteria. We are also using generative AI to build interactive engagement with applicants, which is much more efficient than older, more manual processes. Next, let's take a look at how AI can help increase analyst productivity. At consulting firms, for example, sourcing necessary information to complete projects can be difficult due to siloed data and to siloed teams. By combining information from dynamic and large data sets with a generative AI solution means that analysts can get instant access to information that can be summarized according to predetermined formats for easy consumption. Draft proposals can be created in just minutes, improving completion time and increasing competitiveness. Next, I'd like to share some customer insights with you. One of the biggest challenges we see customers face is deciding how to make generative AI useful for their enterprises. But it's not as hard as you might think. Intermedia Cloud Communications is a leading provider for unified communications, voice over IP, and identity and security services. They use our OCI generative AI service to build a new solution to further improve their award-winning customer services department. Their department has to run 24-7, 365 days a year, with thousands of chats and calls coming in and hundreds of engineers working to make their customers happy. As you can imagine, an engineer's time is best spent solving customer problems rather than the task of logging interactions. Intermedia's story involves the steps that follow an interaction with a customer service engineer. Let's hear from Urvashi Sheth, Chief Customer Officer at Intermedia. There's a summary that an agent or an engineer has to prepare and send it as an email. Takes another three or four minutes. So what we decided that let's work with Oracle and create a gen, gen AI based summary out of the transcription of that chat. So what, what does it do? It saves about three to four minutes of that agent's time or that engineer's time. And that engineer can help us think about how do we make the troubleshooting better. We can use his or her expertise somewhere else and get Gen AI to summarize that call or that chat and send the email very quickly. Now think about that three minutes and multiply it with thousands of calls. How much time you're saving using Gen AI. Generative AI can drive innovation, improve processes, and help companies accomplish more tasks. But it requires the right approach to delivering the underlying technology, the science, and the solutions. That's why Oracle focuses on delivering the best AI available for enterprises. We have been working on three themes. First, a unique focus on high-performing models trained for real business scenarios to address generative AI requirements for the enterprise. Second, generative AI that we've embedded across the entire Oracle stack for easy uptake and value delivery for our customers. And finally, we prioritize data management, 
data security, and data governance, whether in the cloud or on-premise. One of Oracle's key initiatives is centered around providing enterprise-focused models that are both efficient and customizable. The OCI Generative AI service supports models from Cohere and Meta's Llama 2. Because these models are smaller in size than some of the consumer-focused models, they are more cost-effective to run and are more capable of being customized. Customization of large language models through a technique called fine-tuning allows customers to use their business data to provide better accuracy on critical tasks that the model must perform for the business. We embed generative AI features and services across every layer of the Oracle solution stack, which means we're building AI where you need it. By doing that, we can continue to refine the models to make them better for enterprises. Oracle's continued work across industries and cloud applications enables us to get to customers and help them to move quickly with generative AI solutions. It allows us to continually refine the models to make them more useful for your business. Lastly, you want the right protections and controls for your enterprise AI projects and data. Oracle prioritizes data security and privacy. We don't share your data or your custom models with any third-party model providers. After a very successful beta program, we announced the general availability of the OCI Generative AI service on January 23rd. It's a fully managed service available to seamlessly integrate large language models into your custom business applications and your workflows. OCI Generative AI provides customers with the flexibility to choose between proprietary models from Cohere or Meta's open source model Llama 2. As I noted, we selected these models from both providers because they are efficient and adaptable, so organizations can use their own data to fine tune the models to meet their specific business needs. For our beta customers, you'll be pleased to know we've enhanced the user experience with improvements like LangChain for easy integration, simplified endpoint management, and even more content moderation. Most importantly, OCI Generative AI offers flexible fine tuning. As a result, enterprises can feel confident that their AI works for their specific business context. And with that, we'd like to show you what you can do with Generative AI in the real world. Let's take a look at a quick demo. The OCI Generative AI Agent Service allows you to have a conversation with your data. All you need to do is direct the service towards your data store. In the beta release, we support OpenSearch as a data store. Once the connection has been established, you will be able to ask questions about your data and receive answers as well as references from your data. For this demo, I've created an open search index and called it 10Ks and loaded it with 10K filings for several large corporations. A 10K is a comprehensive report filed annually by publicly traded companies about their financial performance. Using the agent service configuration pages, I was able to connect my open search index to the service. Now that everything is ready, Let's ask the agent some questions about our data. First, I'll start with a generic question about Oracle. As you can see, the agent understood the question, extracted the relevant information from the data store, and summarized it to construct a response. The agent accomplished these tasks while leveraging OCI's generative AI infrastructure. For my next question, I'm going to ask some more specific information about Oracle's cloud as described in the 10K. As you can see, the agent responded not only with summarized information from the data store, but also provided a reference to the original document from which the information was extracted. Clicking the link in the reference will take me to the original document. The agent exposes an API endpoint, which allows you to incorporate the agent into your own applications. 
Now that we've seen generative AI in action, let's talk more about what Oracle has available today. We've also recently announced the beta release of Retrieval Augmented Generation for OCI Generative AI agents. This new service harnesses AI to provide business professionals with the ability to have natural language interactions with large language models that are grounded in their enterprise data sets. Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, combines the power of large language models with enterprise data, ensuring more accurate, trustworthy, and contextually grounded results for business users. Instead of only relying on unreliable, untrustworthy information gathered from across the internet. In other words, you can now have actual conversations with your own data. The initial beta release integrates with OpenSearch and upcoming releases will provide access to vector database capabilities in both Oracle Database 23C and MySQL HeatWave. For enterprises that want an easy way to work with additional large language models, we also announced OCI Data Science AI Quick Actions. This is a no-code feature of the OCI Data Science service that enables access to a variety of open source large language models, including options from Meta, Mistral AI, and more. Once generally available, this feature will support even more models that users can fine tune, evaluate, and deploy together with their data. We think this is the most compelling Gen AI offering for the enterprise, but don't just take our word for it. As you can see here, IDC's chief AI analyst, Ritu Gioti, says that, with a common architecture for generative AI that is being integrated across the Oracle ecosystem, Oracle greatly simplifies the process for organizations to deploy generative AI with their existing business operations. And as Futurum Cloud Analyst Ron Westphal said, there's RAG and then there's RAG done right. Oracle has delivered RAG the way the enterprise actually want to consume it, by prioritizing data management, security, and governance to help ensure enterprise-grade AI. Joining me today from Deloitte is the company's global Oracle offering and Gen AI leader, Darcy Mathias. Welcome, Darcy. Every day we're hearing about new advances in the world of generative AI, um, but we know that there are challenges for enterprises. So what are some of the challenges that customers are facing when they're trying to adopt generative AI? That's a great question, Greg. And uh, first of all, thanks for the opportunity to be, be with you here today. Gen AI is absolutely a core aspect of our strategy, as well as many of our clients. And it seems like you can't get through a meeting without somebody talking about Gen AI and how it can help them. However, it does come with certain barriers and challenges that the vast majority of our clients are facing. And there's really three key ones that come to mind. The first challenge has to do with being able to pick the right architecture and technology that seamlessly integrates with what they've already invested in with respect to an overall enterprise architecture and their data structure. So minimizing disruption from a tech perspective is number one. Number two, what we're seeing is the first generation of Gen AI have typically been general purpose models. And what clients are looking for is something more specific to their business. So an industry focus that really speaks to their core objectives. And the third one, which is probably the most relevant one that comes up a lot, has to do with an overarching concern about privacy and security understanding levels of access, how their data is being used, and making sure they control the overall retention of that data over the life of their Gen AI investment. Those are the three key areas where we're seeing clients want to be very deliberate about planning how they get on the Gen AI journey, but us, Deloitte, with Oracle, are working hand in hand to make sure that we address those three issues with them to get them going. One of the things that I think uh, it would be great to get some insight into is, how has the Oracle Deloitte collaboration really help customers when it comes specifically to generative AI? It's a great question. So Deloitte's global Oracle practice is, is broad in nature. We cover basically everything that Oracle does. And, and that feeds into our Gen AI strategy, which is very well aligned with Oracle's strategy. And it falls into a three-pronged approach. The first approach we have is to develop custom microservices, Deloitte-led, but leveraging Oracle's OCI Gen AI services, very industry specific, very targeted to how the clients want to achieve their outcomes using Gen AI. The second area is around working with 
the Oracle product roadmap and the AI functionality that's coming through the apps and working with our clients to make sure they take advantage of those apps that are made available through the regular updates from a SaaS perspective and, and also making sure that those AI capabilities are, are really um, complementing the, the custom build in the first point. And the third area, Greg, has to do with advising our clients who want to do their own Gen AI development and making sure they have the right Gen AI infrastructure, leveraging Oracle, OCI, and Gen AI services. And all three of those key pillars of our strategy are very much aligned with what Oracle is doing, obviously, and we go hand in hand with them to support our clients across all three areas. What are the use cases where you're seeing customers get real value today? What's being successful as you're going to market and working with real clients? So what we did at the very beginning of our Gen AI journey was to take a real strong industry-centric approach to our conversation. We met with a number of our global industry leaders, as well as our key clients across basically any industry to really understand what some of the use cases were for them specifically to drive the benefit out of Gen AI. We started with that. And then from there, we picked the top two industries that would have the most immediate impact from an investment around Gen AI, and those are healthcare and retail. On, on the healthcare side, the very first microservice that we have created is a buyer's assistant. It's very specific to healthcare and allows them to take advantage of sourcing and procurement best practices to make sure that as they're, as they're buying new product, that they're able to take advantage of all the intelligence, all the trends that are available to, to them. The retail um, client industry, we have developed microservices that are for our large grocery chain that is a conversational interface for employees. It allows them to ask questions about their payroll, to view their W-2s. They can also use this microservice to make updates to their, their ta talent and HR information as well. Those are the two initial industries that we're starting to see a lot of, a lot of traction, a lot of appetite to be early adopters, but the other industries are coming along quite quickly. Darcy, can you elaborate on why these customers are so eager to adopt generative AI and apply them in these industry settings? It's really around the potential for increased, increased efficiency. So efficiency was really the first, first one that came up very consistently, looking for opportunities to leverage AI and Gen AI to help them do their, their business better. The second one was um, better decision-making, um, really around management decision-making, access to data and trends, and the third one had to do with improved customer experiences. Those are the three major reasons that we've heard when we spoke to executives across key industries. I also want to mention that although we did build out the first wave of microservices, primarily for a grocery chain, as well as healthcare, we've architected those microservices to be easily ported to other industries because we're talking about client or customer engagement as well as procurement and sourcing. Those can easily apply to other industries. And the next wave of industries that we're working on right now include financial services, communications, and energy. Thank you so much for your time, Darcy. Thanks, Greg. I really appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today. At Oracle, we're taking a holistic approach to creating AI for the enterprise. We're not just thinking about new managed services for delivering generative AI, we're thinking through the entire experience and reimagining what's possible in a business context. Built on our high-performing AI infrastructure, we have integrated our AI offerings through every layer of the Oracle stack to create a complete generative AI experience for enterprises. At Oracle, AI is designed to be a seamless experience, not something you need to integrate and assemble yourself. Our infrastructure investments focus on OCI superclusters that provide ultra-fast clustering, networking, HPC storage, and efficient bare metal instances. OCI superclusters are ideal for training generative AI models at scale. A question we often hear is, how do I really implement a solution that uses my own data as the basis for its generative AI work? Oracle AI and Oracle Modern Data Platform are the perfect pair for this scenario. Organizations can now benefit from all the power of AI directly embedded within their data management services, including Oracle Autonomous Database, and interact in natural language with their data securely. Building applications using our generative AI services together with Oracle's database offerings is simple because they're engineered to work together. 
you'll be able to use the data already stored in your Oracle database or in your MySQL database and leverage the vector database capabilities that the latest releases of these two extremely popular databases will soon offer. OCI's Generative AI also forms the basis for Generative AI capabilities embedded across Oracle's suite of SaaS applications, including Oracle Fusion applications, Oracle NetSuite, and industry applications such as Oracle Health. These AI capabilities are placed directly in the hands of your workforce via the software environments that they use every day so they can achieve higher levels of productivity and effectiveness in their core tasks and workflows. Later, we will look at how Fusion Cloud applications are gaining new generative AI capabilities. This tight collaboration between infrastructure, platform services, and applications enables a faster innovation cycle for Oracle's customers worldwide. Now, my very last guest today is our Fusion AI Global Vice President, Miranda Nash. Welcome, Miranda. Thank you for joining us. So the Fusion team had a lot of exciting announcements at Cloud World around using generative AI. For those who weren't able to make Cloud World, can you bring us up to speed? Sure. We announced a whole series of new features embedded right within the Fusion existing workflows. So for example, generating a job description, generating a knowledge article, generating item descriptions in a, in a supply chain context. So they center around assisted authoring and summarization use cases. So another example is summarizing existing performance feedback in the system and using that as a starting point for writing your annual review. So for Fusion customers then, what are the benefits for using generative AI inside the applications? They really center around productivity. So we enhance productivity for all kinds of roles, whether you're a recruiter, a service agent, a manager, and it's, it's not just individual productivity, but helping businesses get more value out of their applications. So for example, you know, we noticed that abandonment rates are pretty high when people have to type and when they have to write in the system. So rather than you know, having that, we, we avoid the tyranny of the blank page, and that helps all customers get more value from their existing Fusion investment. Great, so then when customers are using Oracle Fusion apps, it's running on top of the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. What makes that important? What's the value that comes from the combination of the two? We, you know, I think it's, it's reflected by us sitting here chatting today as colleagues and as you know, service provider and internal customer. This interaction between the applications and the tech stack is the powerful feedback loop that benefits all of our customers. Again, whether that's, you know, we get the benefits of really fast innovation on your side, mm -hmm. and then you get the benefits of really very real world enterprise use cases. You know, um, when customers see that this functionality is available, it gives them options. They could decide to build the solution themselves using the OCI Generative AI service, or they could decide to consume Generative AI through Fusion apps. How do, how do you advise customers really to approach this build versus buy decision point? Well, we think everyone should try it. Without a doubt, try it. And then as you start to think about rolling out at scale, that's where things can get challenging. You need the expertise, you need evaluation, you need guardrails. And that's where you know companies could consider turning to an embedded AI solution, for example, as part of Fusion. We take care of that hard work for them. And that's a really easy way for companies to get started with AI. That makes a lot of sense. And it, you can really see that we're bringing value to the customer through Fusion applications and allowing people to get an on-ramp to generative AI that's easy and powerful. What's coming next? We're excited about taking more advantage of features in the tech stack. For example, retrieval augmented generation agents and getting into reasoning as well. So this is just allows customers to take more advantage of the data they have along with the natural language um, interactions with the LLM. So as an example, in a supply chain context for a maintenance product, as an ex we may want to read a manual, very complicated technical manual, and then have the AI suggest some steps for a maintenance plan. So those, that's an example of what we'll be seeing coming soon. That's great context. Thank you so much, Miranda. Thanks, Greg. And to all of you watching today, thank you so much for tuning in. Together, the services I've just described and many others make up the Oracle AI ecosystem with offerings that span business apps, platform services, data management, 
and AI infrastructure. It's part of our AI strategy to ensure that we're here to support you no matter where you are in your AI journey and what kind of AI you need. To get started with Oracle's generative AI services, be sure to visit our website at oracle.com slash genai. And lastly, check out the most recent post in our First Principles blog series for a deep dive into the technology behind our generative AI capabilities. We're so glad you joined us today to learn about the exciting innovations that Oracle has to offer. We'll see you next time.